Good morning, good morning. Alan Nuckman from Option Shop with your morning market stir for Tuesday, February 5th. Well, we saw the asset markets have some profit taking yesterday, a little bit of a pullback after the big run last week. The S&P was down 13 points yesterday for the futures at 1493. The Dow lost uh, 86 points and actually based out at 13,800 before uh, closing a little bit higher. The Nasdaq was down 45 at 27.12 to give up 1.5%. Essentially, the stock indexes gave up their gains from Friday with the sell-off on Monday. The euro currency was also down, down a full percent yesterday, down 147 at 135.18. The dollar bounced yesterday, a healthy bounce in the dollar to 79.59 after it did push below 79 last Friday for a bit uh, before it closed uh, above that key uh, pivot level threshold. Looking at other markets, we saw crude oil off yesterday, off $1.60, $96.18. Again, crude has stalled out to this $97.98 level, and you're seeing a little bit of unwinding there with the uh, dollar strength. Crude oil was, I'm sorry, gold was positive yesterday. Gold was positive uh, with that dollar strength. That's an interesting uh, dichotomy there. We see gold up four and a half at 16.75 to close on Monday. Silver was off a little bit, off 20 cents at 31.76. So after the biggest down day in the markets for 2013, where do things stand on this Tuesday morning? Well, we're seeing a bit of a bounce in the markets as the uncertainties in Europe uh, are um, eliminated here a little bit here in our American market. We're bouncing back. We're about 1,500 once again in the E-mini S&P. 1,501 up 7.5 points. Dow futures are at 13,915, up 71. And the Nasdaq's up 12 at 27.23. We're seeing the euro currency bounce back a little bit, up 45 points at 135.67. The bond market, which had bounced yesterday on a little bit of safety buying, is down a little bit today. We're down 12 right now. We're on the 143 level. The yield on the 30-year Treasury is still at 3.2%, so that's holding strong right now as bonds maintain on the lower end of their range. Looking at crude oil, crude oil is up 80 cents back at the $97 level of a barrel. Uh, the gold market continues to push higher. We're up five points in gold right now at 1681. We've got an interesting wedge with where we are seeing some lower highs and higher lows. And uh, if we can see a breakout to the upside, the wedge distance can project a move to 1725. Looking at silver, we've also moved back above the $32 threshold in silver. Silver's up 30 cents right now at 3202. So to wrap up the action for this Tuesday morning, the stock indexes and assets are coming back after the sell-off yesterday. Right now I have the E-mini S&P at 1501 up 7.5 and, and the Dow futures are above 13,900 up 71 points right now. I will see you early Wednesday morning for the stir in the markets to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Option Shop from the CME Group trading floor where it all comes back to commodities. <laughs>